Hey guys, finally getting around to CCing these uh, Quantico C uh, cylinder heads because somehow uh, during my move I either lost or misplaced my components, the parts that I used to CC cylinder heads. So I finally just broke down, ran to uh, Lowe's last night and got a 8 inch by 10 inch piece of Lexan. It's not super thick, but I had them cut it in two. So I actually have two uh, four inch by, what is it? Eight inch by four inch, I think is what it ended up being, or eight by five, I can't remember. I had them uh, cut it in two so I could actually make two different plates. Um, basically, I just drilled two holes in it. One's a fill hole, one's uh, just to help get the air bubble out. And then I try to bevel that main hole, which didn't come out 100% circular with my drill bit, but I was afraid to go down any farther. But basically, I made a new block of ceiling plate. Um, I had to borrow a screw in stud from Andy because uh, the customer that dropped these off to me didn't bring the screw in studs and guide plates. Well, I found out real quickly. These heads, the intake port is intruded by the hole for your screw-in studs. Now, a lot of you may not be familiar with that, but a lot of cylinder heads, especially ported LS heads, and uh, bigger than 180, usually small block Chevy heads, the hole for where the screw-in stud goes in actually pokes through into the intake port requiring you to run a good thread sealer on your screw in stud so you don't get oil sucked down into your intake port. But I found out real quick, these heads do have the rocker stud boss intruding into the intake port because I tried to just rudimentarily just kind of get a rough idea how big this port was without the plate the other night. And uh, <laughs> that didn't last very long because as soon as I started putting stuff in there, I uh, had it running out on the through the stupid rocker hole so so I made this plate I am sealing it with red bearing grease normally I use oh Vaseline I have like a little small container of Vaseline that I use just for that and for some reason it's with that other plate I used to use and I can't find it anywhere. So what I usually do is just take some rubbing, uh, cheap rubbing alcohol like you get at the dollar store. And I add just three, I think I put three or four drops of blue food coloring in it. It almost looks like windshield washer fluid, but do not try to use windshield washer fluid because windshield washer fluid foams up and you'll end up with a huge headache because as you're uh, inserting the fluid into your runner, that stupid windshield washer fluid will foam up, which messes up your readings and doesn't really go away. It takes a really long time to uh, get the bubbles out of it. I've noticed that the more I use this, uh, it's basically a syringe that I bought at the local tractor supply store and what I'll do is I'll just I will only put 50 cc's in there because if anybody goes online they can verify uh, one cc is equal to a mill uh, one milliliter is equal to one cc it's the same measurement so what I'll do is put this thing right at 50 so I can use it as a oh like a easily trackable amount of fluid that I'm putting into this port because it's gonna take probably four three or four of these for sure to try to fill this port up but you'll see this for some reason, this stupid plunger is not wanting to move today. 
it could be getting wore out from the exposure to the to the actual rubbing alcohol because I'm sure it's not meant for that but you'll just have to get over it because we got a cylinder head to CC because this way you can tell because like I think I got sidetracked a while ago I apologize for some reason the pro comps even if they're listed as a 190 cc head they only actually cc about 180 so if you see people trying to directly compare a pro comp cylinder head to another 190 cc let's just say cylinder head that's not a fair comparison in in flow or horsepower because as casted, that stupid Pro Comp head isn't actually 190 cc. Because I actually had a set of those. I was going to pour it up to put on one of my one of my own engines, and uh, did quite a bit of work to it, cleaning up the. Because they're supposed to come with a 1206 Felpro opening, and it was nowhere near the 1206 size. So I had to do a bunch of work there, a bunch of cleanup in the casting flash and all that junk. And uh, after all the work was done to that Pro Comp head, it barely came out to 190. So that shows to show you that it's nowhere near 190 as cast. Remember, I'm talking about the Pro Comp, not the Quantico. So now we've got 150 cc's in there so let's load up another 50 look like a doctor out here squirting stuff up in the air getting it right on the 50 line there we go all right we got 150 cc's in there now let's see if we can fill it up we don't have any seepage out of the valves or out of the rocker stud anymore. Because if it was leaking, you'd know. It'd run all over the stupid table. So that's one third, or I'm sorry, 170. There's 180 right there our plate stays happy looks like it is this thing is going to come out to <laughs> where we are currently at 190 cc slow down there junior that's 195 cc's and we're not even 100 percent filled so these Quantico heads, just right off the bat, are going to be a, a better head as far as actual CCing. That's 200. That's 200 CCs and I've still got a bubble. So what I can do is switch over to one of my smaller CCs. We can top this thing off real quick. We don't need a whole lot. Let's just put, try not to fall over my stupid shop back hose here, which is always a good time. Hear my neighbor firing up his crowd killer over there. I need to go meet him because it's a pretty, pretty solid sounding Mustang. So I got 10 in here now. So let's try to work our work out our bubble. Come on. I don't want this thing to fall over because I've got it kind of supported by this little piece of metal. But I gotta kind of mess with the air bubble here. Plus, I'm trying not to run out of time. 
on my video. Come on. Right there. All the air is gone out of that port. We went from 10. Let's see. One, two, it's dang near. I would say 203. This is, uh, <clears throat> this cylinder head is that Quantico uh, 100, advertised 195cc cylinder head. And it, before any port cleanup, shows 203cc. That alone makes me believe that this is a much better casting as far as quality an actual uh, CFM per dollar that you're gonna purchase off the internet. I mean, you know, and it's always good. When you buy something like this for literally pennies, you know, well, maybe not pennies, but dollars, anyone can verify the size of the ports that they just purchased. You know, it's not rocket science to level the head, make a little Lexan plate, mix up a little rubbing alcohol, Go to your, you know, I got most of my syringes either from the pharmacy because those two smaller uh, syringes came from kid, we got them for our children's medicine years ago. We just had them hanging out in our drawers in the, in the kitchen. And then I just happened to be walking through the tractor supply one day. I was like, hey, back here where they got all the animal medicines, they got a bunch of these large, larger uh, milliliter syringes. I'd love to find one that goes up to 100 milliliters because that would make a huge, huge advantage to filling ports without having to redo the syringe and all that good stuff. But long story short, you or anyone could easily verify the size of the ports of cylinder heads you've purchased. If you're porting cylinder heads, it's an excellent way to see where'd you start you did a modification, check it again. Just make sure you got a good uh, seal on your valve seat. Make sure you seal off your uh, screw-in stud if it goes into the port. And make sure you have nothing leaking out around your valve. And you're good to go. So um, I'm 100% impressed with this Quantico 195 head. You know, being slightly over what you advertise is absolutely acceptable. Being in 180 range when you're telling people it's 190, that's not acceptable. That's horrible. So, anyway, I just wanted to do a video today on this holiday weekend showing how to CC your cylinder heads, how anybody can do it at home. It's not rocket science. And to just let everybody know, and you can verify it with a Google search, a milliliter is equal to a CC. I mean, that's just the truth 100%. So you don't have to go buy these you know, $100 and up CCing kits to actually CC your cylinder heads and find out what you got or what kind of progress you're making when you're working on something. So anyway, um, I hope this is a helpful video and this information will work on any cylinder head regardless of make, model, and, and brand. So uh, take this with you, share it with your friends, Go out there and spend some time playing with your cylinder heads and see what you got and see if you can make your make it go faster by making it flow a little bit more air. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope you guys uh, like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Tell your friends about it. Tell all your racing and hot rod buddies to uh, check out my channel and maybe we can find out a way to make some more power. Thanks, guys.